of the afternoon. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Prescott from the gun. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. 39 yards on the punt. Give them just one yard on the return. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Slings this deep from the... This is caught inside the 15. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. Well, part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Here's Ward. Four yard line. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. Third down and four. He'll look to throw. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Tim Patrick there to make the grab. And Washington has taken a first quarter lead. A long way to go in this one. I'm sure that's not the only score we'll see today, but to jump out like that, very good. Yeah, everyone wants to set the pace. You know, in a game like this, you want people chasing you. You don't want to be the team chasing them. That's exactly what they did. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. So that drive, four plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. They trail here early in this division round game as they seek a spot in the NFC title bout. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The tackle by Cole Holcomb. Two yards on the pickup. It's second. From the 27, Prescott. Now the ball comes loose. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. By thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. 
It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. Here's Moss with a catch out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And he is into the end zone. A three-yard touchdown run. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they don't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it. Six points on the board. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. 29-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. So more problems here in this first quarter. Already two scores down, and here they give away the football. And if I'm the head coach, I think it's time to start lighting a fire under some of these guys. Now, you have to do it within your personality. They can't perceive it as fake. But I'd go get after some guys because they don't look ready to play to me. They look flat, uninspired. It's time to get moving. The Washington offense set to take over. They've got to be saying, boy, thanks for this field position. Yeah, remember their last drive in which they scored a touchdown. That one also began in excellent field position. So let's see if they can capitalize a second time. A give to the fullback on the dive. The Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Morrow on the tackle. A gain of four. It's now second and six. He'll drop to throw. Over the middle, completes this to Ward. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and ten at the 23-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two at the 15-yard line. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent gain. On the give, this is their fullback. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten at the 13. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And one. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. 
Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. The field goal, a 31-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that'll make this 17-0 here in the opening quarter. Cowboys nothing. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Now Dallas gets set to take the field. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and ten. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Brings up Prescott on play action. And got his man complete. Prescott. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. We saw these guys have some big plays in their wild card win last week, and they're certainly going to need to continue to put up plays like we just saw there if they hope to continue to move on in these playoffs. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run with Elliott. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 17-0, our score after one. Cowboys nothing. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Elliott. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. The Cowboys on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. There on the coverage. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Back to back stops, make it third and ten. No gain on the play. Brings up. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. C.D. Lamb there to make the grab. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And it's 17-7. The kick is good. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown.
Greg Zerline. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Washington offense set to take over again. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second and two. He'll get this one to Patrick. And he slips up past the 35 before being tackled. 15 yards on the play, first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Second and three. And complete right side to Cook. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They run it with Ward, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. It's fourth down. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Now Dak Prescott of the offense heading back onto the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to write the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the league. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. Montez Sweat showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. A gain of eight yards. And it's third down. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. 
Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. They'll try and run with their fullback. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. A gain of two brings up second and eight. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now an inside draw. This is their fullback. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Second and 11. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Washington on third down, two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. And that will be incomplete. The pass intended for Tim Patrick. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He connected on his first, this from 41. And his kick is indeed good. And that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. 20, Cowboys 7. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Possession of the football going back to the Cowboys. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because, remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. It's a pickup at three. Brings up second and seven. From the 39, Prescott. He's got it complete to Thompson. 
And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. They keep on the ground with Elliott, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Prescott now from the 50. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Prescott's pass. It's a gain of five. And they're going to face a third down. Yard pickup on the play. And it's Prescott now. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. Intended for Michael Gallup. Incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked it on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Well, now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to kick it away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? Washington they say just outside the 20 yard line. At their own 21. Well, look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it? Tackle. Touchdowns. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. Loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's complete to Ward. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Call it a gain of five, and it'll be third down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. But it doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there. And there we saw completion. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on Divisional Round Weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. The Cowboys take over first and 10. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's some guy, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. 
complete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And it'll bring up third down. Now Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. A time again to see Terry McLaurin in the Washington offense. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. You better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Open man here, Sims complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. First down, he'll drop to throw it. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Brings up third and two. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Well, the other day they told us, when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is good. And that will swell the lead to 16. 23. Cowboy 7. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Tony Pollard on the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. At their own 23-yard line. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this Divisional Round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back to Saturday's NFC Divisional Round game. And it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who are moving on as they were able to eliminate the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, in our game, we're set up for a terrific second half. So to find out who will advance to the NFC title game, let's send it back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. And he won't quite make it to the 25. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. 
Now we get another look at Washington on offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it to Terry McLaurin, but it's going to be second down. Incomplete. Coverage on the play by Trayvon Diggs. He'll get this to Ward. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Ball carried by the full A gain of three, second down. Made at the 38-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. And now a carry here for their fullback. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. Not a lot of headway on that carry, but when you're dealing with a defensive line that can cover up your center, Sometimes you got to think about getting out of that play. Not going to be a lot of space when that happens. Out of the gun now on third down. Open man is Sims. He's got it. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Washington got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. He was taken well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. Second and eight coming up. Single, single. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's Ward, complete right side. And oh, he coughed it up. It's picked up by the Cowboys. Covered by Dallas. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. First down, Cowboys. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. At the 36-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. down marker at the 31 it's third down from the shotgun it's Prescott he rifles one that's intercepted picked by Kendall Fuller there he goes right side and he will bring this one back it is a pick six for a Washington touchdown touchdown to Washington this D want to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, 
If you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Sly on for the extra point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this carries into the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early. To let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Brings up second and seven. At the 20. They go down the end again. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Prescott from the gun. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Throwing, Prescott. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. C.D. Lamb is intended target, and it's third and four. Incomplete. Kendall Fuller there on the coverage. Here's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And great special teams work here. This is knock it on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what. The and he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Prescott, and he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. And the Cowboy first down. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one, 28 yards on the ground. He had his eyes on the end zone once he hit the secondary, but they're finally able to slow him down. Yeah, and I've got to look at this one from the defensive point of view. You just mentioned finally able to slow him down. They've got to figure out a way to make that at the point of attack, at the line of scrimmage, because once he gets through, he's shredding them. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now Elliott. 
And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Draw play, Elliott, and he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. Offense. Oh, no. A crucial penalty there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. Prescott to throw it. And it's a quick flip out to Cooper, complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Third and goal and still a long way from the end zone. Now Prescott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. To C.D. Lamb, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Greg Zerline. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First down team at their own 27-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Slings this deep from McLaurin. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 35. Just more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush. A lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They're going to look to throw. He'll get this one to Patrick. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's a gain of seven. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Now Ward, and he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. 
And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Second and ten. caught at the seven yard line and he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six nine yards not quite enough and they'll be left now with third and one looking in zone but it's incomplete i'm going to need some help with this one how did he miss it wide open in the end zone he's not hurried he's not hit and somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And let's gain her attention on Ezekiel Elliott. After some early struggles running the ball, they've really picked it up. Early it just seemed like there were no holes there. Now all of a sudden, the holes seem to be there. I don't know if that's just my imagination. And give them credit that they kept their confidence because sometimes when you get stuffed big in the running game early, especially for an entire half, it really makes you retreat a little bit, but not this group. They always have the confidence that they just get their assignments down, they get in sync with their runners, and off they went. Throwing on second and three. Prescott to the right side. He's got Cooper. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. It's funny, when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically what he said, right? <laughs> I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Two yards on the pickup in second and eight. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Here's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Elliott. And he's a long ways into Washington territory before hitting the turf. It's a big play there on third down. 52 yards. The offense has to love that because that was just a dump down, and then he turned something out of seemingly nothing. And the best quarterbacks understand that dumping it down is often a good play, a better play than even what was drawn up. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. They follow up that gigantic game with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Gain on the play. And it's third down. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Now 
Prescott. That ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Complete to a three-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. Greg Zerline. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And this one not officially in the bag, but it's looking more and more like you and I are going to be in these same seats next week for a game to go to the Super Bowl. And it's contrary to our meeting with the, with the visitors, wasn't it? Remember when we went over to their hotel before the game, and one of the themes they kept hitting us with was, Let's put the pressure on the number one seed and see if they can handle it. Let's, let's do that. Well, they're the number one seed for a reason. Best team all year long. They're showing it again in this game. Second and five. Here's Ward. And some space here. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. Big yardage that time for Washington. 62 yards. Now that whole run just felt old school, didn't it? That was a throwback. Punishing runner getting the football. Picks up good yardage and knocks a bunch of people aside. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A gain of seven that time. Second and goal. A gain of seven brings up second and goal at the one-yard line. On the ground with Ward. And he's going to be shoved back short of the goal line. They hold him again, and now all of a sudden, it's third and goal at the one. Third and goal. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. This has not been a fun game for this defense. They've definitely had their share of struggles, but they needed to make a play right there, and they finally get it done on third and goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. A 20-yard attempt. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And Washington is able to stretch their lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Slide for the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A drive that time of six plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Now Pollard. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. On the return, the Cowboys take over first and 10. At their own Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. And the numbers for him, pretty solid, really. He's run it well. He's caught it pretty well. But they're still far behind the eight ball on the scoreboard. Not able to use his talents, as you noted, to narrow the gap in the scoreboard. Sometimes it's a bend but don't break, right? He gets his yardage. That's cool. But it's not paying off 
on the scoreboard. They're not getting the points necessary. And if you're a defensive team, you'll give up that yardage for the kind of lead they have. That's what I was going to ask you. Sometimes you say, let this guy do his thing. Let's control what we can control elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. Take away the rest of the guys. Don't let them hurt you as well. But the biggest one is they contained him well enough that they've been able to increase their lead. Normally, being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And they're able to get 